What's up guys? Welcome back to Fly Tying Friday. Today we are tying three, very, uh, maybe three, probably two, two very simple um, bass streamers to get you started for this spring. Um, very, very simple flies. One of them is a uh, is actually Andreas Anderson's uh, C CF bait fish, which stands for craft fur. Basically craft fur, a couple eyes, and you're good to go. Um, and maybe a little bit of crystal flash if you want it. And then I'll be tying, what else am I gonna tie? I think I'm just gonna tie just your standard zonker. Cause these flies are both really fast and they're kind of meant to be flies that you can crank out really, really quick and be done with and not have to think twice about, but that will catch a ton of fish for you. So let's get started. Okay, first off we're gonna tie this craft for a bait fish. Um, super, super simple fly, like I said earlier. All that we're going to have is a, uh, we have a mustad stinger hook. You can tie basically whatever you want in here. Uh, we'll have some white 210 denier thread. You should see this. I'll do this real quick. Okay. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to have a thread base down. Okay. Just like that. Slight thread base. And um, I don't think this is what Andreas Anderson does, but this is what I do, so this is what I'm going to do. All we do is we tie in a little bit of silver Estaz. Okay, so we're going to wrap that up. We're going to wrap just like this. So you have a nice flashy little underbody. Just like that. Again, this is a very quick fly. So what we'll do is we'll tie that down, grab our scissors and cut that real quick. Just like that. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna have some Rainey's Extra Long Craft Fur, and we're gonna basically just have one nice clump on top and one nice clump on bottom, but they're gonna be facing this way because we're gonna fold them back and then we're gonna put some eyes on there as well. So what I'll do, is I'll grab my, so this fly is going to ride hook point down because the weight of that hook will naturally turn it down. And so you want the white on the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll tie in this white first. And you want a good, nice, long uh, craft fur for this because you want the length of the body to be pretty solid. Um, and Rainey's has this extra long craft fur that um, I tie with that I absolutely love. You can get it at most of your shops. If you're in Utah, I know the guys at Fly Fish Food have some. Um, so basically what we'll do, is we'll take this craft fur, we're gonna flip this hook upside down, and we'll tie this in the opposite way of the way that we're actually gonna have it resting. So we're gonna tie this back, okay, just like that. So now that that's sitting on the bottom, just like that, we're gonna cut this little bit of excess off, just like that. And I'm gonna kinda crank pretty hard on this just to make sure we're not gonna be losing it at any point. So we're gonna fold this back over. And we're gonna do the exact same with some olive green crafter as well. Same step, same everything. We're just gonna cut it off our fur, get rid of some of these under fibers, just like that. Those are short and those are gonna make tying a lot, uh, a lot tougher because they're going to kind of get in the way and they're going to make it a little bit harder to tie down. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie this part in right here. Just like that. Nice and tight. And you see those are just directly on top of each other. I'm going to get my scissors. Cut that excess. Okay. So right here, you could just fold them back and have the body that you want, right? You're not going to tie it in quite yet. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add some of this red crystal flash because I love red crystal flash. Adds a nice contrast. It kind of helps that wounded bait fish look a little bit more like a wounded bait fish. So I'll grab two strands and I'm going to fold them over so it'll become four strands on this and I'm just going to put them straight back. They don't really need to sit on either side particularly because the, this crafter is going to basically get folded over the top of it anyways and it's going to just show through a little bit. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fold this craft fur back just like that. 
We're gonna wrap in front of it. Fold this part back. Gonna wrap in front of that. Okay. So what that'll do is that create a profile. I'm gonna pull this off the hook just to make sure I can get this on either side of the hook. Okay. So as you see, with these folded back a little bit, that creates a nice long bait fish profile. Um, and we want this to kind of cover over some of that flash. We don't want it to be super separated. We kind of want it to mend into to mesh into one piece, right? And you got a little bit of that crystal flash showing through. So I'm gonna add some wraps up here. And as you see, that's not going anywhere. So what I'm going to do, actually, is that's basically the whole body of the fly. And you can stop there if you want. Um, but I like to add some uh, living eyes to this, just to make it a little bit more realistic. A um, little nicer to look at, in my opinion. So what I'll do is we'll cut that. Okay. Pull all this back. Just like so. And then all that I do is I'll set this on its side. Ow, that's sharp. Okay, set that on its side. And we'll grab some of these little holographic eyes. And you only need a little bit of glue for this. But basically all we're going to do is we're going to add a little dab of super glue onto each side of this and onto each part of the eye. So this will just go a little drop right there. Now I add a little drop to the back of this eye like so. Okay. And I set that there. And I press that right on solid like that. Like so. See? So I'll sit there and then we'll go to the other side of the fly. Make sure that our fibers are placed. One thing that this eye does do, which is kind of helpful, is it'll actually hold that craft fur in place um, and it'll kind of help make that head profile. Okay, so we'll add a little dab of glue on the eye and on the spot that we're going to put the eye. And we'll just stick that down just like so. Just like that. And that right there is a craft fur bait fish. So like, as you see, super, super simple fly to tie. Um, really, really effective. If I can find some scissors, I can cut it. There we go. And we'll cut that. And typically, you can fish these for whatever you want. They'll catch trout, they'll catch bass, they'll catch all kinds of stuff. I probably fish mine more for bass than anything. So, And bass do a great job of tearing apart flies. So I'll add a little dab of glue there. But as you can see, that's a nice, long, slender bait fish. Uh, it can easily become a brown trout, perch, you name it. So that's Andreas's craft for baitfish. And then this next fly is extremely simple, nothing really fancy about it at all, but it is a super effective fly that I fish all the time for, again, every species that eats fish. Let me see if I can lock down a hook here, here we go. So, again, I don't tie my flies in like the classical you know, zonker way. I like to have a little bit of flash with them. Um, so what I do is I'll do a thread base. Tiny little thread base here on the back half of the hook. And I'm gonna use some of this white um, or silver um, polar chenille. So I'll cut off a nice little piece of this. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna palmer this up the body of this fly. So what I'll do is I will, so this is going to be olive and white is this, what this one's going to be. It's going to be pretty large, a nice little clump of meat for whatever fish wants to eat it. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I will tie in my polar chenille on the back, just like so. And then I will grab my piece of zonker, which I want this fly to be kind of long, just so that it's a good size um, to kind of appeal to a couple different species. I could even fish this for pike. Um, so what I'll do is I'll tie in my zonker strip, just like so. I'll fold this back, add a couple thread wraps there, just kind of helps hold that back up for me. 
So I'll wrap all the way up to the front. And you can add barbell eyes to this if you want. I don't particularly add all that schnaz to it. I feel like this polar chenille is already schnazzy enough. So basically all that I'll do is I'm going to wrap up this polar chenille. I want touching wraps with this. As I go back, I'm pulling each wrap backwards to make sure that it's going the direction that I want to go and it's not getting all crazy on me. Just like so. Just like so. So now that I have that wrapped up, I'll tie that off. Twist it, cut it. We'll kind of get some of these loose fibers backwards. So there you see that you have this nice flashy underbelly. So what you'll do is you, I'm actually going to pinch and separate these so that my uh, zonker strip doesn't trap any of that. I'll fold this over. Place it where I want to tie it in. And just like that, tie that in. And I'll cut my zonker strip. And this has this is like a magnum strip, so it's absolutely massive. Um, most rabbit strips aren't going to be as thick as this, but it works for me. And that right there is a simple, super super simple bass fly. Um, has some nice flash. Has a nice profile. If you look at it on this side. Totally looks like a small bait fish. It could be a baby bass, baby trout, baby whatever. Um, and I'll tie this in. And I'll just throw a whip finish up front. Pull that tight. Cut it. And add a little bit of super glue so it doesn't fall apart on me. Nice little dab of glue. And that one's good to go. Okay. So we have this, and we have our craft for bayfish, which I don't know where I put it. Where did I put it? There it is. So, um, the eyes definitely give the craft for bayfish a, a much more realistic look than the zonker, but the zonker is a super suggestive pattern um, that can catch fish just about anywhere. I mean, both of them can, honestly. But this is kind of like a tried and true classic fly right here that has caught fish all over the place. So, yep. Okay, and that is it for our Fly Tying Friday. Um, this month, oh yeah, I forgot to bring it up. So I'm going to Alaska this week. I'm going to be there. I'm flying out on Sunday to Ketchikan, and I'll be in Ketchikan from Sunday until Tuesday next week. So I'm going to be there for about eight, nine days. Um, so I gave myself a day travel either way, and then seven days of fishing super hard up there. The steelhead are just starting to get there and show up and run up into these small rivers so it should be a really 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 cool uh, set of videos I'm actually gonna do a semi live series so every single day that I fish I'm gonna shoot a video and I'll be dropping those the week after I or when I get back for the whole week every day so you guys can kind of follow along and kind of feel like what that experience what was feel what that experience was like for me um, so it should be super fun I'm flying up there and staying with my buddy Kevin Boots who's being a stud, taking the week off from work, and he, we're going to go mess around all over Ketchikan and then maybe take a ferry over to Prince of Wales and fish the Thorn River, which is a world-famous steelhead river as well. Um, but I'm super, super excited, um, so stay tuned for that. This Monday is going to be a really cool video as well, so you have we have that to look forward to, um, but I'll be traveling on Sunday. So thanks for watching uh, this episode of Fly Tying Friday. I'm not 100% sure if we'll have one for next Friday, just forewarning. I might be able to do type some steelhead flies with Kevin. Uh, there will be one next Friday. It'll be a steelhead, steelhead fly. Um, but yeah, so this will be the first episode where you guys see me fishing on a river. Do I know what I'm doing on a river? Maybe. Do I not know what I'm doing on a river? Maybe. You'll probably have to watch and find out. Maybe I'm really good at it. Maybe I suck. Who knows? But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, share this video with your friends that are too lazy to tie really compact, complex flies. Um, I know that I'm too lazy to tie complex flies. I tied some way too too fancy of flies yesterday. It took way too long, and I'm getting back to my roots, tying super simple bugs. But, um, yeah. And later.